is Kurt Kenton, and I own Five Star Window Care, but I also just started a software company called Synthesize. Well, I started a window cleaning company because I was at the time working full time in a bike shop, bicycles. And back in the day, when I was going to school at ASU to get my business degree, I thought I wanted to start a bicycle store. And it occurred to me right before I almost started the bicycle store that I needed to be a husband and a father. And when I realized that and I had that epiphany, that even though I love bicycles, I don't want to be a retail person. I don't want to have to work every weekend. I don't want to have to work on every holiday. I just started thinking of things that I could do that would allow me to come home when the sun went down. And window cleaning was on the forefront of my mind. And the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. I had a few misconceptions. I thought that I could go buy a bottle of Windex and a roll of paper towels and call it a company. Obviously I was very wrong, but I learned some really valuable things. I learned that any business, window cleaning or otherwise, is about professionalism. And I learned that I am a professional. No matter what I do, I'm going to do it professionally. And so I started my window cleaning company. I did realize that, yeah, the window cleaning part only took place during the hours when the sun was up. But I also learned that window cleaners don't just clean windows. Uh, if you own the company, you take care of invoicing and customer reminders and marketing and the finance and you meet with your accountant and you got to take care of any issues that past customers have had so customer service uh, your truck needs work done you know you need new tires you need new oil whatever that is your equipment runs out you got to order supplies and I found out that a window cleaning company wasn't going to be just sure it's less overhead than any retail establishment but I realized that there's every bit as much going on in driving a window cleaning company as any other company. And my employees are able to do a lot of the work, the technical work, and it frees me up to do more of the administrative stuff. I like getting out in the field with them and scrubbing a window with them, for sure. But the window cleaning thing has allowed me to be the husband and the father that I want to be, and I'm working more and more towards it all the time. And I've been putting systems in place to help to deal with all the things that go into being a business owner. And if you're familiar with the book The E-Myth, The E-Myth really puts into perspective what it takes to be a systematized business that runs in a way that can deal with any problem, but also take the pressure off of the guy at the top from feeling like he has to do everything. It just teaches everybody their place, the principles behind it all, and everybody's able to govern themselves in a way that keeps the business running smooth. FiveStarWindowCare.com started out as just a typical HTML site, and then earlier in 2010, I realized WordPress is the way that everything's going, and so I built a, a WordPress site, and it occurred to me, I need to send people to visit this site somewhere where they can find what it is they're looking for. You're not going to go to a window cleaning site if you're just checking out to see what's in the theater right now. You're not just browsing the internet and land on a window cleaning site just for fun. I truly believe they've got a to-do list right next to them, or at least somewhere nearby. And they're at your site trying to get something off of their to-do list. So, when I was building this WordPress site, I realized I need to be able to help people to mark something off of their to-do list. Window cleaning, or power washing, or window tinting, whatever it is that's a service that I provide. And unless I give them a way to comf feel comfortable about marking that off of their to-do list and forget about it and move on with their lives, I'm going to be just in the same rut as everybody else. I'm going to have to be competing at competitive bids. I'm going to have to drive however many miles it takes to get there and do what I can to please the customer. Why can't I automate that? Taking the principles of the e-myth, systematizing my business, I realized that if I can put together a system on my website that takes me completely out of the loop, my website will become, in essence, an extension of me. It will tell them everything that I want them to tell them as far as selling my company and it will take from them the information that they need, assimilate that information and then give them back what it is they're looking for. And if I can get them what they're looking for, which in my mind is a bid, then they're going to be able to say to themselves, I feel comfortable with this bid, say that price looks reasonable, yay, I'm done with this, 
checked it off, and now they can move on with their lives. And guess who got the work? I did. I've met a lot of window cleaners, and I haven't met a window cleaner that I didn't love. But I realized that those window cleaners could totally benefit from something like this. I guess the fact that I care about window cleaners so much and small business owners and kind of the plight of the entrepreneur, I realized that my calling in life is to help entrepreneurs to realize their dreams and to get their lives back. I know that as an entrepreneur, from the moment you get up to the moment you're laying in bed talking to your wife at night, all you talk about is business. And what I want to accomplish is to help to take the amount of business that fills the day and compress it so that there's more time left over for family to be who you want to be. And so synthesize, yes, it's taken a while to take, get off the ground, but it doesn't really matter because all it's given me is more time to think and more time to build and more time to innovate. And it's been the biggest blessing actually of all is that I didn't just shoot right out of the gates building a piece of software that I envisioned. I got a chance to try a lot of software that didn't work, to realize why it wasn't working, to build my systems in a way that would take everything into account and build something that everyone can use. So will it benefit Five Star Window Care? Heck yes. <laughs> but is it going to benefit other companies? I pray so. I hope it puts men at the table with their families at night. I hope that in the morning, dads can drop their kids off at school. And I hope it adds time for maybe a little vacation each year. But yeah, synthesize has definitely been worth it. Well, Response Bid is a product made by Synthesize. So Synthesize is a company that's built to systematize small business, particularly with open Response Bid is built from the ground up um, using the principles that I've learned in my own business as far as package pricing, gathering data, breaking it into the correct databasing, calculating, and then serving it up to a customer in a way that basically they can't say no to. And it's not because we're using any sort of tactic that's unethical, it's because we're giving it to the customer the way that they want to get it. They want it fast, they want it accurate, and they want to know what they, you know, what continuum they can get on. What is the basic package? What is the deluxe package? What is the premium package? And I'm th I was thinking about deluxe, but boy, just for a little bit more, I can get the premium. Or, boy, I was thinking the premium, but geez, that's expensive. Rather than walking away, they can look at the basic and go, you know, maybe I'll just go with basic this time. And then you don't lose the customer. So, response a bid is a culmination of all those things. And I like to think of it as an employee that we install into your website. We take your website going from being a dead brochure that just talks about me, 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 and translate it to, if you want to know about me, I can tell you about me. But I'm here for you, and I'm going to serve up to you what it is that you want. And that, that employee never gets tired, he never talks back, he never has issues at home, he never shows up late, he works 24 hours a day, and even best of all, I've built it in a way that he wants you to hold him accountable. I keep saying he, I know that sounds a little morbid to refer to software as a person, but I really believe that Responsibit, the way we've structured it, is going to feel more like an employee than a website. Responsibit, we've structured so that if it doesn't give you at least twice as much money back as you're paying into it, then you have that. We guarantee we return your money. That money back guarantee is for you to be able to take the, the pressure off to say, I'm going to go for this, I'm going to try it. And if it works, then awesome. If it doesn't work, no skin off your back. It's going to get you business at 10 o'clock at night while you're asleep. It's going to get you business while you're out in the field with the guys, while you're in a meeting, while you're on the phone, whatever it is. When that person's interested, the moment they show up on your site, they're able to take care of it. What if you hire a new receptionist? What if you hire a call center to take all your phone calls? That call center can now go to your website, collect the data, and then after they get all the data, the customer can let them know, yes, that, site, that price is appropriate, no, that price is not appropriate, you know, whatever it is, and they can click the call to action button right at the end and let the customer know the scheduler will be calling them to set something up, or if it's
that she's a receptionist who knows nothing about window cleaning, all of a sudden now she's empowered from day one to be able to set up a bit, uh, to bid somebody and set up an appointment right there. My mission is to return husbands and fathers to their families. An entrepreneur is way too often buried underneath the business that they believe that they own, totally not realizing that they are chained like a dog to the doghouse to their business. Their business owns them. And I'm tired of it. And I think that window cleaners are tired of it too. If you can begin owning your business again, you're the boss of your business.